Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's brief SEO training, I'm going to be giving you a checklist, sort of a glimpse of what's in my home business blueprint. And I'm going to be sharing with you some resources to go along with it because I already created full fledged tutorials on how to do most of this stuff, like using page speed insights to boost your load times on your website, how to create an XML site map so you can submit it to Google Search Console. I even cover that in here, how to use Google Search Console for SEO and traffic analysis, plus mass pinging tools like Bolt Pinger. So I have this checklist that I have in my actual home business blueprint that I made videos on, and I'm just gonna go over a couple of these real quick. So starting at the very top, we're gonna talk about on-page optimization. Now you want to optimize your title tags and meta descriptions. Now I normally use Gemini or Meta AI or you know any AI assistance to help me out with this these days. So you wanna craft clear, compelling titles and descriptions under 60 and 160 characters respectively that include your target keywords and entice users to click. Another tool that I've been using is called Gling AI. And right here we say, and you just upload your video and it basically edits your video for you. Not entirely, but it takes out a lot of the annoying parts like the silence and the double takes and the uhs and the stutters and whatnot. So it really does a great job at that. It makes editing videos so much easier. But I also noticed about it today that's really dope if you click on right here where it says generate, you'll see these three different options come up. So you can actually scroll this over for different types. If you want a more engaging type title, informative title, you know, focus on delivering useful information rather than sensationalism, they'll give you different versions. So like, let's say if you want a sensational post, you know, and I, I imagine the more red this is, the more emotional clickbait. Unlock internet marketing success with two hours daily effective strategies. Yeah, I mean, it could be two hours. This is actually what's, what I mentioned in this video. I wouldn't say that that would be disappointing if someone wanted to click on that, but you know, just I like to keep things right in the middle there. But yeah, as you can see, they generate the title for me. And then what I would do is I would take either that transcript or that title that I get, and I will go to Gemini and get a meta description. And let me show you actually where you put that at. So on WordPress, click on edit post on the bottom right hand side. And if you have optimized press or a Yoast SEO, it's also going to be at the bottom down here where it says meta description. And as you can see, they got Oh, they and they even have a button right here. I didn't even I didn't even know this. So I'm going to make a whole video about this. Yeah. So you can use AI. Let's, let's see what happens when you do that. Of course, you got to unlock it with Yoast SEO premium. So what I would normally do is I just take the transcript or that title, basically the, the bulk of the I'll take some content and then I'll put it in Gemini. So let's, let me just show you what that looks like. I'll say how to build a perfect landing page step by step. Optimize press and I'll go to Gemini. You can actually use this same strategy for optimizing your images with alt text and file names. In fact, you can upload the image and say, give me an alt text for this. And I'll show you what that means and, and everything. But let's say if I wanted a meta description, basically I would say, just give me a meta description, meta description for this. And you can do some prompt engineering in there. Get clear, compelling, but concise. And if you want, you can even put like the amount of characters so 60 to 100 characters let's see and but i just i just leave it as it is and i'll take what they give me but yeah as i was saying you can get a meta description let's see provide you with the following i forgot to put the title in there so let me edit this real quick all right click on paste I wasn't even paying attention there we go boom build a landing page that converts so i can go ahead and just take that and put it down here boom and their meta description actually comes up in the search results so when people see your link you actually have something you know, that'll draw them in rather than just a bunch of random text. And then I'll click on update. And you also have the option, let's see, I believe the page description right there. You got the OP3, optimize press page description. And personally, I'm not sure. I, I normally just put both of them in there, but I'm not entirely sure on if this has any effect. So it says this will be used in the OP3 membership element. Okay. I just paste that in there and then I'll click on update. But what I was saying was I'm, I wasn't sure if this and this conflicted with each other but yeah as you can see it doesn't really matter like and this actually shows you i just made a video about this too on how to optimize this right here for mobile and desktop there's different websites that you can use as well they show what it looks like on a mobile and you know just to avoid google truncating it you know because clearly as you can see you know it doesn't give you everything from the preview there so you can just make the you can make the meta description a little bit shorter. So that's what I would normally do in that case. And also with H1, H2 tags and H3 headers, I, I keep a prompt in here. So I'll say I need an SEO optimized article, 300 words or whatever your words are. And 
give me H1 and H2 headers. Now, I recommend H3 tags as well. So what I would do is I would put all three of these in there. And this helps to improve content hierarchy, readability, and SEO relevance. And that's also what the spiders of the search engines take note of as what's important and considers for how to rank it in their engines. So yeah, I usually use a prompt for that these days. And then I'll give the transcript. I actually take this transcript of my video and then tell them to make a blog post article out of it and give me these H1 headers right here. So as you can see, I got a lot of different prompts for my business here. Describe your images with relevant keywords and alt text and use descriptive file names. So I'll actually say that to Gemini after uploading the image. And the internal linking basically just means, so you wanna make sure the link relevant pages on your website to improve user experience and distribute link juice, SEO value. So if you're talking about something about landing pages on, and you have say other articles about landing pages or how to create a lead gen magnet or how to optimize your thank you page, and you're talking about that in the article, well, I'm, and I'm sure you've seen this, you can basically just highlight that section and then what you do is basically just link it. Let me show you how, actually how that works. So I should have actually clicked on edit with optimize press, but basically you just highlight it and then like a little link URL will come up and then you basically put that link in there from the, and then make it blue. And then that way, when people see that they'll click on it, it takes them directly to another part of your website. We call it an internal redirect. And that's really enormous when it comes to search engine optimization. Ensure mobile friendliness. Now, one thing I want to talk about with this is I actually made a lot of different videos about this, but I have these in the description for your reference, how to optimize and boost website load times. I, select, I confused this one with the other one, but this one is definitely relevant too, because you're going to want to improve your website's loading speed, optimize page size, images, code for faster loading times user experience and SEO benefit from a speedy website. So you can press the images basically and use instead of JPEG or PNG files, you're going to use WebP, which which stores on the browser rather than on your actual website, letting it load a lot faster and it only appears as they scroll down. So that's what this video is for right here. And in regards to the mobile side of things, testing your website across various devices to guarantee optimal user experience on all platforms. I'm gonna refer you to this video right here, Google's mobile first revolution, optimize or vanish, the mobile imperative. And I share with you how you can basically optimize your website so it's mobile friendly and it and you can see the difference between the both of them. So, and I actually got this directly from Google, their articles because a lot of people are using their mobile devices so you just want to make sure that your website is mobile friendly and then you want to optimize your content for feature snippets so craft informative and concise answers to common search queries to potentially land the coveted feature snippet spot on serps so a lot of people go to google and they ask a question you'll see answers come up right at the top if you're doing if you're if inside of your content you're posing a lot of questions that's related to that blog post and you're and you're answering them, then now that, that can be featured right in the search results. So that's something definitely to take note of. And I'll just leave this one as well as the rest of these, except for this, submit your site maps to search engine. I'll leave these because I actually have videos on the majority of this stuff right here in the home business blueprint. I don't want to you know, take too much from the HBB, just want to kind of give you a glimpse here. And then when it comes to creating a site map, I'll show you how to do that here. So how to create an XML site map for your website. So the search engine results pages can crawl and index your site faster. So you can create one right here. And then I show you basically the different plugins and, and how to upload them to Hostinger or whatever your hosting company is. I was using Hostinger here. And then you can use Google Search Console to basically submit that to them so that you know, they can crawl your site faster. They're more familiar. And the sitemap is basically a way for the search engines to more freely. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's really brief but very, very valuable. And if you need to go back through this and I also have an SEO checklist right in the description. So if you're looking to have a checklist to accompany you as you're going about your search engine optimization strategy, just make sure you're covering all bases. Then you're definitely going to want to take a look at that. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is put your name and your email address in. It'll get sent right to your inbox. And also take a look at the tools and the resources below. I'll have all of these videos because they're directly related to this training right here as well as the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. You should see it there. And check out my playlist on SEOs for 
almost like 70 videos on the subject now. All right. So I hope you enjoy. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like content like this, I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales, AI, automation, copywriting, traffic generation, email marketing, objection handling sales. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely take a look at my website, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.